Thank you. So uh, who here is uh, lazy? Woo! Nice, my Rest people. Wait, wait, yeah, who, who, who <laughs> is here for the, uh, the GoPro thingy? Yeah. Who, who here is lazy and here for the GoPro thingy? <laughs> who is here only, it's an, it won't hurt my feeling, who is here only for the GoPro thingy? There you go, there you go. I hope one of you win because then maybe someone will do something. If I win that thing, nothing. I'm not doing anything. I'll just look at myself. I don't know. Um, so my name is Jared Farmer. I work in Emotion Hosting. I've worked there for two years. Before I worked there, I was uh, a customer for seven years. So I really liked their product a lot. Uh, I used to make uh, games and comics and animation, stuff like that. And then I got a nice stable job at Emotion Hosting. And uh, I was always curious why when I called them, they would get someone on the phone in two minutes flat, within two minutes. Like I, I use all the hosting companies, just like uh, Adam was saying, if you develop a lot of sites, use a lot of hosting companies. And I found out that no one answered my calls faster and no one helped me more. And I was very interested in the company. I saw a posting and I applied. I told them, you have great customer service. You have to give me an interview, just part of the company. And so they did. And I've been working there ever since. Uh, and, uh, and so I'm going to, maybe I'll just do this when I do shameless plugs for my company but I am going to do some shameless plugs. I'm sorry, I do love them. Uh, but what I'm going to talk about is WordPress for lazy people. Um, th it's going to cover various tools that you might use to try to get a site up really quick. Maybe you make the site for a friend. How many here, since you make websites, your friends think you can just throw a site up in five minutes? Right? Oh, yeah. Hey, come on, be a guy. What, it's, 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 you know, it only takes a couple of minutes, right? And so you, you get into this and you start doing it, and the next thing you know, it's eating up your life. And I'm going to cover uh, two sites that I've made, uh, one with a page builder, and the other I made using a, uh, using, um, <clears throat> a template off of ThemeForest. And it's for a, a law office. So uh, the second one, the, the, the lawyer template, never went up. So, so you first start on your website, and you're in a happy place, and you're thinking, this is going to be great. And I'm going to make money like the little happy leprechaun and everything's going to be wonderful. And then the reality of development sets in. And there you are, the end of the world, the four horsemen. That's really what you're looking at. And that's really why it's not going to take a couple of minutes. So having done this a lot because I'm a sucker and I'm easily talked into things, um, I have uh, come up with certain things that I do when I set up a WordPress site. I try to keep it really simple. Um, that means I have very few plugins. Uh, I use either a page builder or a really simple theme. And uh, of course, shameless plug, choose a host company with great customer support. And that really does help because that will save you a ton of time as well. <clears throat> now, uh, what are the plugins I personally use? Uh, I, use uh, I use a cache program. This you're going to want to speed up your overall site. Uh, I'm recommending Total Cache here. There's also Super Cache, it's awesome. Uh, a lot of people use that. Um, the second one comes with WordPress. It's uh, no longer that relevant to put up here, but it, it helps with spam. Uh, you're going to want a security pro uh, plugin. There's uh, Bulletproof Security. That's a good one. I'm recommending iThemes here just because that's what I've been using lately. But uh, I've had success with both of them. And uh, then if you're going to be selling stuff, you're going to want an SSL to protect all your data going back and forth. And uh, I personally have only used WooCommerce over the last couple of years. And so it's the only one I can say, yeah, I've used. Uh, are there any developers here that would like to add to that? And they get a three, three uh, people, and you get a free t-shirt if you uh, give me a must-have plug-in when you set up your WordPress. You. Yeah. Blue. Yoast SEO. Yoast SEO. There's one. Who was next? Gravity oh. Forms. What? Gravity forms. Forms? Which forms? Gravity. Oh, Gravity Forms. Yes, yes. You're going to be seeing that today in a little bit. Okay, one, two, and then you. Huh? Bulk press. What does that do? Vault oh, vault press. Backup. Backup. There you go. I didn't even mention backup, right? That's, that's, just, that's not just lazy. That's stupid. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. OK, so you have these core plugins. You don't want them to be a lot because you have to keep updating these things. And let's say you did this for a friend. Uh, you, you're kind of st stuck in it for life. So. You know, use as few as possible. The backup one is, is essential. I, I'm going to add that to both my friend's sites tonight. So, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I do this professionally. Uh, okay. No, I'm not. 
I'm going to forget about doing it tonight and then forget for the next couple weeks. And who here procrastinates way too much? I got that down. Yeah, good. If you can do that professionally, I sort of do. Yeah, you, yeah. So uh, first thing, page builders. Yay, page builders. Um, basically what you're going to see, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go over Divi because it's the one I used in a, successfully in a production. Then I'll show you the site after I go through the next, uh, this and templates. But uh, they have grid layouts. Um, the page elements are represented by widgets. Uh, each builder has a unique interface, and most come with simple uh, pages. You get a blank slate, but some of them have the little templates that you can use. And uh, I'm going to go over Divi. I'm going to show you a site made with Divi. Uh, and it's uh, my personal favorite. Um, I don't, in no way connected with the company that makes uh, elegant themes that makes Divi. But uh, it's the one I've used in real production. Um, this is its interface, and we'll, we'll see this in on the screen and actually using it. But as you can see, you don't actually see the page. You see a grid representation of the page. And that's what you get to work with. The uh, second thing is templates. Um, you can go like, I, like I'm going to show you a lawyer template. This is what I want. I want to set up a, a template for my friend who's a lawyer. I'll quickly get this up. Um, they all work different. And that's the big problem with templates. Uh, the one I'm going to show you was a big disappointment. It came highly rated, but when I started using it, it, it was pretty unusable. So uh, once again, they're each unique, and that can be a problem. And uh, I'm going to go over the one I got. I got it from the Envato Market, uh, which I think theme forest in particular. Um, and then I'm going to discuss the future. Uh, basically, I'm going to present our product, shameless plug, Bold Grid. Uh, it is a WYSIWYG WordPress page builder theme thingy. It's something really new. I tried finding something that would, would be called competition. I really couldn't. That's not like saying, oh, look at this. But it's just really neat and new. I'm going to go over that uh, over the end of the speech to show how easy it is to, to get a site up and edit it and that you actually see what you're, you're working with and, uh, and show that it has a built-in image search. So let me load some sites. And hopefully it all works. OK. So let's I have a friend. This is one of the sites I'm most proud of. Uh, his name is Joe Benitez. He makes comic books. He makes something in particular, Lady Mechanica. And uh, he has a whole slew of artwork to sell. So this was made using Divi. And it was made uh, using WooCommerce. And he uh, does really well off this. And he also promotes his comic book that comes out every couple of months. It's a, it's a really good book if you, if you are into comics. And this took a long time to make. I thought, hey, this is Divi. This will be really quick. But uh, the other thing was, is the hope was, was that, hey, he would actually be able to go in himself and make changes and stuff. But even Divi, as easy as it is to use over standard WordPress, he is not able to actually make edits and stuff. So uh, myself and someone named Marsha Chin, the writer of Lady Mechanica, uh, do all that. But as you can see, he's got a fully functional store that's easy to buy stuff off of. And, uh, and it, it does bring in income for him and pays for itself. Um, well, he got it for free because I'm a sucker. But uh, <laughs> yeah, so uh, it's good all pages. I'll grab a page at random, so just so you can see inside of this. Um, let's let's go to contact. Let's look at this. Try not to save anything. Um, so this is Divi. So as you can see. What you're going to see is a little different than what you might, uh, you know, hear. You have uh, you have names of what these things are. It's a text block. It's a full width header, and uh, I wanted to preview it. So this is actually what the theme looks like when you're using it, and this is what you actually see on the site. So it's really hard to go from one to the other. And this was a real pain to set up. I got it all set up for him, and I said I need to copy here and there, and he never got me the copy. So it just, it just languished, and it died. So is there a better way? I would like to present to you something called Bold Grid. It is a, once again, a plug-in template kind of hybrid. And the goal is to make it really easy and quick to get into websites. It comes with a bunch of themes. It starts with Inspirations. Inspirations is where you pick what your overall website's going to look, look like. So here it's asking me if I want to just start this as active. I can start in staging. It has a staging built into it. This means that you don't have to put the site live immediately. You can sit there and keep it in staging and play with it in staging, get it to where you like, and then shoot it to active. But you can also shoot it to active because the copy that it comes with is not Ipsum. It's, it's ready to go. So we have uh, 
we have all these pages to look at. I'm going to go, since, since time being what it is, I'm just going to... Yeah, exactly. So uh, we, we paid copywriters to write copy for every one of these pages. And so you would still want to go in for obvious SEO, Google reasons, and, and, and mess with them, but you have a starting point of somebody who is paid to do this. So, um, so select that. Um, now we have something called Bitcoins. This is for purchasing uh, professional photos. You might have your own. If you're a photographer, you would not even care about this part. But uh, if, you're, if you're just getting your thing up, we, we connect with a, uh, a couple of picture gallery companies that have high quality picture galleries that you can buy using something called Bitcoins. Um, let's go with this one. You can, you can preview these things, so do a live preview. I can see it on a monitor. And see how it's going to look on a monitor, the, the tablet and phone. So the, the, the responsiveness has already been made for all of these, and it's ready for you to uh, check out and see how it looks. And you can edit all of this after, after it goes live. But you're seeing what you're going to get. So let's select this guy so we can get into editing it. And uh, it, you can set your pages. I'm just going to do base pages, but you can do all of the different types of pages. And they all have their own layouts for them and copy for them. But uh, due to time, let's, let's uh, install this website. And thus, it will begin downloading everything that it needs. And hopefully, they'll crash. No whammies. No whammies. This can crash at this point. It is beta software. It's looking good. Thank you, Dave Winter. You're the best. So I'd be crying right now. I'd be typing in my name, and the, there we go. OK, it's installed. It's active. So if you were to go to this uh, jaredfarmer.com WordPress BG right now, you would see the site. Uh, so let's do that so you see it. But you're seeing it right there, but let's go. And then we're going to edit it. But it's immediately live. Uh, I, when I installed uh, my WordPress, I called it Lazy Times, and uh, and so it's showing here. So you do you can do a bit of setup even before you you get to this part. But that's with our uh, In Motion Hostings AMP uh, or uh, cPanel. So all right. So it's really easy here to uh, start editing the site title. You can add a logo. Uh, it's easy to upload one. Uh, So you change it immediately in here. Uh, the coolest thing about this first part is the color uh, system. This mouse is not so cool. Oh. I didn't mean to leave that. OK, colors. Now, you have a color palette. And you're, you're going to see it update in real time over here as you change it. And this changes all through the site. Uh, all the graphics on the site are SVG, and they change based upon the palette. So if I go into here and I select another palette, all of that changes. And then I start wanting to change certain colors out. Uh, I go through something called a palette creator. Um, I want to hold some of these uh, steady, and then I can generate palettes, new ones, without affecting these colors. And thus going through and, and, and you can lose a lot of time doing this and it's a lot of fun. <laughs> right? Because, I mean, that's, that's one of the things to see in real time your whole site change based upon just a few clicks of the button is the lazy person's dream. And uh, let's, uh, let's unpin those. Done. Let's select color. Let's go in the palette creator and let's change it to something less obnoxious because I was just fiddling with that. Uh, let's change it to something obnoxious. There we go. All right, so you can, send, you can once again, spend a lot of time here, save and publish. But where this thing really shines at is not having enough room for a mouse up here. Um, OK, it's saved. And now I can go into, let's say, we're just going to grab a random page. Um, pages. It's uh, about us. So here's the visual editor. It's going to come up. 
And right now you're seeing the normal WordPress thing where you, you, see the, you see the text and all that and you see the things, but this is not what you're going to see when it shoots out, right? But you click on Bold Grid and boom, you're now seeing the Bold Grid interface. And you're also seeing um, all the various ways to move stuff around. So let's say I actually want uh, this block over on this side. I can just move it. Uh, if I want to um, take this block, I can take the menu down. Let's add another bunch of text. So you can clone at your, your heart's content and uh, change these blocks around. Then you've got pictures down here. Let's add some pictures. And there are two ways to do it. Let's see. Okay. Everyone likes babies, right? some babies in here. So one of the neat things, and it's kind of WordPress thing, but is the drag and drop. So you just highlight what you want replaced, and you just grab a picture, and you can set sizings and stuff here, but it's, it's added automatically added to your media library and all that. And you just say, okay, yeah, that's the image, and then it places it on the page. You want these all to be the same size, so you grab another. Cute babies. Let's grab the ones with hats. Obviously, this is a lot easier on a real workstation with a monitor. But uh, there you go. And once again, if you want to add quickly, add yet more babies, you can clone. <laughs> Oops. Uh, now I've made a mess. Well, it has control Z. And so I can just go back as far as I want. Whoops, and then I can accidentally hit a key on my keyboard. But yeah, it has control Z, so you can, oh, I see, I put a bunch of babies there. I cloned a bunch. Um, but you can delete the babies, and then they're gone. And uh, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to update this. And it's, uh, oh, I could have previewed changes. That would probably been better to do first. But um, you can see that this is the god-awful palette I put up. But uh, there you go. There's some babies already on there. Now, you might also want to um, uh, not use your own photos. And we have something uh, called a Bold Grid Connected Search. And it allows you to just type in any keyword. That was a big building. We don't like that big building. We want our own big building. And uh, they have two different kinds on Bold Grid uh, services. We have the kind that you buy, and then we have the kind that you just have to give credit. And I believe the CC uh, means credit, and it'll build a credit page. And so you find a, you find a building page in here you want. I like this one better. And. Uh, Download and insert into page. Pretty straightforward. As I use up all of Dave's gigabits for his month. It was only 800 by 600. OK, image downloaded. Did it replace? There we go. And let's turn bold, turn bold grid off somehow. Turn it back on, and we'll see it. So once again, I found an image that I would like better and put it there and put babies on the page. And I did all that without, without using any weird codes. I did that all out without uh, uh, having to see some grid that I was guessing. I was trying to, like, from memory, what was on that page. Uh, I want this about box there. I'm seeing it happen in real time. Uh, I can undo my, my mistakes, just like any other program that you would use from Adobe or something like that. It's a really neat program. I really like it. Um, I, I, I felt it was the first time that WordPress was really fun. There's a lot of programs that are really fun to use. Photoshop, fun program to use. Illustrator, fun to use. Like, but WordPress, I would never have called it fun until this. So this is our new product. If you signed up for the GoPro, you will get hit up for the beta when it goes out. I have 10 minutes left, and I have six shirts left. Six questions. Anyone? Anyone?
Okay, so there's two systems here. There's one where it just gives credit, there, it builds a credit page to where it says this picture was taken by this photographer and links to their, their site. So you don't actually have to spend any money to build your initial uh, site. But if you're, there's a site you, there's a picture you want to buy, it'll actually have a cost. It's done in something called uh, uh, Bold Grid Coins. And that's, that's actually something you'd purchase through your back-end AMP system if you're a hosting customer of ours, and you would add to the coins. That's a layer of security and protection. So you don't have to spend anything. And uh, you can come get your shirt later. That's one. Uh, sorry. Uh, you? I get to say, I'm glad you asked that question because I completely forgot to bring that up. Uh, yes, it does. This is just, you can move this anywhere. You could, you could spend a month on our site, say, thank you, and leave. And, huh? Oh, he's asking, does this move? Can you take this? Is, do you own this? Like, Wix is really easy to build a website, too, but you're stuck on Wix, right? Uh, this right here, yeah, yeah, this is, a, this is WordPress. You can take this and go and leave and say bye. Put it on any system you want. Uh, you can also build themes with this and export the themes as a normal uh, WordPress theme, so it's very flexible. You raised your hand earlier. What's your pricing model? Um, or is it free? It's free with hosting, so you get you, you get you become a hosting customer and you get access to the themes. And once again, you can buy photos if you want to spend the money, or you can just give credit where the, where that's available. Uh, so, do you recommend the uh, bold grid over Divi? Um, yes, and uh, I know once again. Okay, but yeah, yeah. If I if I could have used this to do Joe Benita's site, he could use this because uh, if he wants to change something, he just clicks and he starts typing, and you know, yay, he can do that. He can't. He that can't make sense out of Divi. He's not a. He does not like computers. So so yeah, yeah. I strongly. Uh, Carol, you. Uh, well, you could export this as a standard theme, um, and uh, you could, if you know how, I, uh, one of our developers did. He made a theme real quick using Bold Grid, and it was just a standard theme. But you can actually, no, I mean, you could, um, it, the, the software is in your plugin directly, right? D directory, right? You just, you know, that's yours now. <laughs> Yay. It, it follows, uh, it's open source. It follows all the rules of open source. That's supposedly very important to say, too. Uh, we, we follow the rules of open source. Yeah, and here's the thing about upgrades, um, and I think that you, I don't know if you're number 10 yet, but I don't want to, I'm number six yet, but, oh, okay. Um, so here's the thing, our uh, web design, uh, we have web design in-house, they're using this now, and only this. So it's the main thing we use now, and so going forward, there's going to be a ton of themes, new themes made all the time, and they're going to be available to any of our hosting customers. So this, this has got longevity to it. Yes. Oh, you mean like a theme? You're talking about making like your own theme, like my theme? Uh, yeah, you. Yeah, once you build something like this, um, there is a way because we're we're going to be doing submissions to yeah, please give us your theme, kind of thing, and then you would just put that over. But you'd still be changing copy around and stuff, right? So yeah, I mean you, yeah, you could you can save that theme and use it on another site. Yes. Um, Yeah, you can continue working on it. I, the, I don't know how the, the coin system would work then, but the, the giving someone credit, that would work easy. Uh, but I don't know about the coin system since you purchase coins from us. But I think you could still do that technically uh, through uh, whatever PayPal or whatever system you might set up. But yeah, it, it is made to move. It, we are not trying to, there are legitimate reasons to leave us <laughs> that don't hurt our feelings, and we understand those. So yeah, you can totally leave us, and we won't cry too, too much. Uh, uh, because because maybe you're just moving that one site. Maybe you're staying. You just need to move that one site for some reason. So yeah, yeah we're, we've set it up with that in mind. Sir? Uh, what kind of markup is it producing? Is it open source and is it open source frameworks that you recognize? Um, I don't know. 
is my answer to that. Uh, you can actually, because I've showed the WYSIWYG part of it, but you can actually go into the back end of it. Uh, I don't know where to do that at, but it, 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 the, my coder, he was immediately into the, the back area. Oh, here you go. This page. I didn't save that page. I lost my building. Um, but you can get in and, and start looking around here how the, the site's set up, just like you would any bold grid site. It, it follows, by the way, even though the menus are slightly different over here, you can set them back to straight WordPress. We set these up for new users, but under the, the settings, uh, if you go to settings of bold grid, you can immediately switch it to uh, uh, the normal thing. Don't break, don't break. <laughs> so that goes back to the normal WordPress. We followed WordPress guidelines as tightly as you can possibly do and still make this product. We really did not want to leave WordPress's, uh, we, we want to extend WordPress, we do not want to create our own system. Oh, in the back there. Are there like angular responsive settings for the columns and rows? Yeah, you can, I haven't uh, played with that a ton. Uh, let's go to pages now, it's all different. But uh, based upon, you, you have, let's go back to about us, edit. You'll see on this, once you've turned on bold grid, you've got a, a place to turn your desktop view, your tablet view, and all of that. And in that, you can go then and start editing, editing specifically for that product. And uh, I guess tablet was better do it on desktop. Um, but you can, you can change the width of columns. I didn't show that off. You can drag and drop the width of columns. Let's see what happens, because I've got a picture already set to size. Start mucking about. And then I can, or at least I believe I can. I did earlier. Oh, mouse, no. It does move, I'm doing something wrong. But there it goes, it's starting to move. But yeah, you can, you can sit there and change this all around and you can, and uh, to change the size. Oh yeah. Anything here you can, it's gonna be a little harder with this tiny little monitor, but yeah, you can grab that photo and resize it. Can we overlap these images, the objects? I don't. I didn't think of trying that. Very few humans can do that. Not at all. Yeah, I, I. So much that we design. Probably a plugin. Yeah, there's probably a plugin. Uh, I would generally think that you would, uh, you would make the image like that. But so you're looking to do this like what would be like a, a reason? And so, and then when you go into responsive, how does it behave? Is it just frozen and it just resizes the whole well, image? You can scale it just the same. You can use percentages. If this one is 25%, this one is 50, I'll shrink and... That'd be a neat feature, like, because you, you could say, move to back, bring forward, just like in Illustrator. You can do that too, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, it does not do that, by the way. I'm not saying it does. Yeah. But that would be a neat feature. I, I'll, I'll talk to them about that. That's common in CSS. When you hover, it changes the index. Yeah. It currently does not do that. You don't stack you graphics on. Panel, you get in the code yes, you, you, yeah, you could. Yeah, once again, you, it has the full editor. This follows. If you can do it in WordPress, you can definitely do it with this. This is, a, this is a layer over WordPress to render it and show you what you're doing. Is the result responsive right now? Or is it oh, yeah, yeah. Now, so. if you go to different devices, it uh, if you were to, yeah, if you were to go to this site, uh, jaredfarmer.com, WordPress, BG on your phone right now, you would see it different than what it's seeing up here, yeah. And it would be live right now. And in that, it's like, that's the thing, right? I, I got this live immediately, it's there. It has real copy that people can read, it's not, it's not Ipsum. And I can slowly work on this over a period of weeks in the background, maybe on staging, maybe on active. But my friend's happy and it's not eating up a lot of my time and I'm not being frustrated by crazy short codes and a grid system that I can't really see what the end result's gonna be. So that's my shameless plug again. But uh, it's a great system, I, I really do like it. Um, and uh, once again, if you're doing a lot of sites for friends, you do find shortcuts, it's okay to be lazy. Because all you're saying if you're lazy is that you have better things to do than work. Don't we all? <laughs> Any other questions?
the license. I'm sorry? So, like, you give us a license for us to develop it, and then as we migrate it to an actual site, that's where we have to pay. Well, I mean, right now, if you have a stock photo, you mean the stock photos? Because it's going to say stock until you buy it. Well, yeah, you would, if you were... Because right now, it's, it's free within the, uh, the hosting. Right. Okay, but, so, I don't know if I would like to buy it, will host, through, is that kind of the strategy? Uh, yeah, yeah, it's our hope. Okay. It's our hope to say, hey, we got a neat product, please come here. Okay. It's, it's simple I, like that. Actually, I, I remember, yeah, so they'll host with the... Yeah, but you could, you could host for one month and go away, make us cry. No, it's, it's more than no, possible. No, no, no. <laughs> But it's meant to be open sources. We want we want people to use this. But yeah, first we want to we want to touch the water, see what it's like. So it's it's right now. So it'll be married to our our hosting company. Yes. So, Jared, which um, which shopping cart or which other whatever it's called, and which automated cart or which one? This will work with uh, any reasonable pro plug-in, like any of the top plugins out there, it is once again, that's why we worked really hard to make it behave like WordPress and not break any WordPress rules. So yeah, you can use WooCommerce with this and uh, you can use any of the various forms. Right now it's using Gravity Forms, but we're switching to nin Ninja Forms. I don't know why, but we are. Uh, but uh, Gravity Forms is actually WYSIWYG on this. Ninja Forms won't be. It'll, it'll, be, it'll look like it normally does. Um, so yeah, any, any, any mainstream main plugin will work with this thing. Yes, sir. So we have we have catastrophic backups. So if uh, if your site goes down within 24 hours, we've made a backup of it. Like if something horrible happens to the server, um, but you should always do your own backups because someone might uh, like we can always go back 24 hours, but you might want to go back. You know, a little bit different than that. We are adding new backup software that allows you to from within uh, your control panel. Just say, I want to back up right now, or set a, a, a time period, and then you have to have a device or a place for that to go. And that'll be a product that we'll be offering. Uh, but generally with backups, I'm really bad at them because I'm lazy. Uh, but you will pay for that, that. That's one lazy you shouldn't be. I'm a hypocrite saying that because I am. But backups are important. So catastrophic, uh, but you can, you can go into the control panel soon enough to do a, uh, at any time.